In this video, we are going to look at the Resources area of Schoolbox. This is the back-end filing system where everything is stored in Schoolbox, including folders, pages and files. To access this area, click on the Resources tab. This could be located in your top or side menu. Keep in mind that this could have a different name at your school. If you're not sure, ask a Schoolbox administrator or super user at your school. Your resources area is organised in a folder structure. If you click on a folder so that it is highlighted and then click on the question mark, you will see the folder's permissions. In Schoolbox, users are separated into roles. These roles are set by your school and may be things like junior students, staff, senior students, and parents. Each school will have different roles that suit the structure of their school. Each user will see different things when they access the resources area based on the permissions set within Schoolbox. In this example, we can see the Staff Pages folder has given right access to the users in the administration role. Right access means that users in this role can edit the page and add pages beneath it. We can also see that users in the teacher role have read access to this folder. This means that users in the teacher role will be able to view this folder. They won't be able to make any changes to it, just view it. The last level of permissions that can be set per role is no permissions. In this example, users in the parent and student roles have their permissions set to none. This means that these users will not be able to see this folder in their resources area, nor will they be able to access the folder. Every time you create a folder or page within Schoolbox, the page or folder will inherit permissions from the folder above it. If you want to customise the permissions for a particular folder or page, you will need to untick the Inherit Permissions box and set the permissions that you would like for your new page or folder.